Hi, my name's Tom. For the longest time, I've had a bunch of old hard drives just hanging around the house. Uh, these actually have come from old laptop computers, old desktop computers, things that I've used over the years. Sometimes I'll buy a computer, put a hard drive in, use it for a couple of years, and then go ahead and upgrade to a new computer. And I just take the old hard drive out and let it sit around. Uh, but I've got a ton of these things. I have about, uh, let's see, about seven or eight of these things just kind of floating around. And the problem is that it's no fun to go ahead and open up a new computer case, shove that hard drive in there, try to fit it in just right, and then trying to get all the different adapters and all the different uh, port sizes. It's just crazy. That's why you need one of these little things. These little devices allow you to go ahead and read all these hard drives and then go ahead and transfer that information to your PC via a USB cord. Uh, I picked one up from Amazon and it works really, really pretty well. Uh, let me go ahead and tell you all about it. So to explain what it is, all it is is a little adapter for all the different types of hard drives you'll typically come across. This is a three and a half inch IDE port right there. Uh, this looks like a five, two and a half inch IDE port right there. It is a SATA port, one of those SATA ports. And then you also even have a little uh, power adapter there and I'll show you how all that works for actually if your hard drive needs to be externally powered. Older drives needed that. And then on the back, you can see there's a couple other things. There's a USB that actually goes from your from their adapter to the computer. There's an on-off switch and a little power uh, jack. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the power jack. This comes with it. I'm gonna plug it in there, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug this side into its two prongs, just into a regular outlet. It also comes with a USB cord. So I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, one end of the USB into this side the right way. Uh, it's USB 3.0 and then the other side of the USB is actually going to go into your computer. If you have a newer computer and it doesn't have a USB, you might have a USB-C, don't worry, it comes with a little adapter. You just kind of shove that on the end and then you have USB-C. So I'm going to go ahead and shove this into the computer. Okay, so I picked up a drive. Uh, I have power going to this. This is connected to the USB in my computer. I'm going to go ahead and just put it on there. It's going to just slide right in. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn on the power. So you typically want to connect the drive first and then turn on the power. I'm going to turn it on. Uh, I'm not worried about static or anything because these are old drives. If I lose them, I lose them. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is clicking up up to the mic. The actual drive is clicking right now, and a window just popped up right there. Uh, this one seems to have nothing on it, actually. Uh, but it did pop up, and it even tries to go ahead and scan it. So... That's all there is to it. It just instantly works, and there it is. I go ahead and turn the power back off. It goes away. I go ahead and I unplug it. And I say, okay, this drive is ready for disposal. Uh, check your town on how to actually dispose of these things. But once it's completely blanked out, you can just go ahead and dispose of it properly. Okay, this thing works with little laptop hard drives as well. This came from a laptop with the uh, screen got smashed, so I never really had time to take stuff off of it. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. I'm going to turn it on. And again, I can hear it clicking. I'm not sure if you can hear it clicking on the mic. Um, but it's kind of spinning up and it's clicking. And I'm going to give it a second here. And oh, look at this. Now, what happened here is I actually had two windows pop up. This is from an old Lenovo. This means that this actually has two partitions on it. Both partitions, uh, windows just go ahead and automatically finds it, opens it up, shows you all the stuff on it. There we go. Nice and simple. Now I can sit and transfer this information to my hard drive on my desktop or to another hard, external hard drive, or I can even format it. I uh, can format these drives. Which, that's ideally, what you want to do is take all your good stuff off, go ahead and format it with this, and then go ahead and dispose of the, of the drive properly. I have an old IDE drive here as well. As you can see, I actually have the power connected to it uh, using this little cord that comes with it. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Let's see if I can turn it on, see if anything happens. Light comes on. It's spinning up. I'm pretty sure this drive is dead. Uh, it was dead years ago, and I just kind of kept it around. So as you can see, you just go ahead and put the power in, and it'll go ahead and read it. Uh, some of these old drives are kind of loud, and that's fine. Uh, but I just go ahead and use this, take all the data off, format it, and it works pretty well. As for speed, it is USB 3.0. It is as fast as these old drives are, because some of these old drives are actually pretty slow. Uh, and USB 3 is probably faster than you would actually even need for most of these old uh, drives and their transfer rates. Uh, but it does work. I've been able to pull files across. I've actually pulled some files off most of these drives here and there. Uh, nothing really critical, which is thankful. But now I'm going to go ahead and format these and then go ahead and dispose of them. So if you're looking to do, if you're looking to actually convert some of your old hard drives, take that data off. Real nice and easy. It's really, really small. It's uh, not much bigger than a little credit card. Uh, like a little box. It's just a really nice little device. I like them a lot. 
uh, I highly recommend it.